Okay, I'm gonna seriously be sharing my dirty laundry with you, like literally. <laughs> but today, I just wanted to share about this because I know a lot of us with front loaders deal with this all the time, and that is the gross grime and mildew that builds up in the front loader. Now I know I probably should have taken a before picture, but honestly, just trust me, it was nasty. So just, it was really, really gross. But I wanted to share a product that I use, and I waited too long <laughs> to use it this time around. Um, but I use a, this is not sponsored by any means, just so you know, because there's other products on the line, on the market that I'm sure are fabulous. But I use, these are fresh tablets, and uh, typically I only need like two if I'm doing it monthly but I haven't done it in a while. And we've been doing a ton of laundry and I just noticed we had a buildup. So I have been doing these little fresh tablets all day, all day. Like this is, I had, I think this time around, I needed to do it five times. So that's a lot. I've never, maybe one time, my first time using them, I had to go that many times. But I just wanted to share a couple tips that I've learned as I've tried to clean and get this whole washing machine looking good because at one point, and I'll show you where you can see the stains from the mildew, at one point we had mildew build up all around and I was just always looking for solutions. I'd done a ton of YouTube videos. I'd try to figure out what in the world do you do when your front loader is gross, grimy, and mildewy. And I finally found a few combinations. So there's one other product I'm going to show you that we finally used. And tr please trust me, I tried all the pro like all the all natural things. I did. I tried those first. <laughs> They did not work. The long-term goal is to do these tablets, one tablet once a month, and I would not have to do what I just did today, but I'm, I'm seriously gonna just show you how gross it is when it gets all built up. And again, keep in mind, this is after it's gone through five cycles, yeah, four, I think, maybe, well, yeah, four or five, I can, I can count the trash cans. Um, but I'm gonna show you a few things that I did that really do help make it faster. Okay, this is looking pretty darn good right now. But if you have a front litter, then you know that this is where it just gets so gross. And like, if you've ever, okay, ready? I don't even know how bad it is. Hey, actually see, after five cycles, it's pretty amazing. Because normally that little teeny tiny, can you see that, the gray stuff that's back down there? It's like sludgy all over this thing. But what I've discovered is when I am going through, I do the cycle, and every washing machine is different, so you'll have to find your cycle. This is the button I have to push. So it says tub clean hold it down and then it's ready. So this is the cycle that I run these on. I throw in one of these, but before I do this, you have to clean your filter. Do you know where your front loader filter is? So you start by taking the tube off and I just keep like an old yogurt container and I just fill it up. And so you just kind of have to keep filling it up. You have to keep the hose low so it'll, you know, gravity will come out. And once it, you'll hear it kind of lose the water in the, t in the tub part. Um, and then it'll slow down, it'll stop running, and then you take the filter out and you scrub it. You scrub it really good because it gets really grody. And then you put it all back together, you run the cycle, and then you do it again. Now, after each cycle of the tub clean, I mean, set a timer if you need to, you need to be scrubbing uh, or wiping down the door and the inside because what happens after each cycle is you'll have like these little clumps of grime that build up and then um, I go through and I wipe all out everything in here. I do both sides, I do this side, I do this side, I do the bottom, and then I even go in this one, and then I will go in this part as well. And you can see like there's just, um, there's stains from me not understanding what I had to do in this washing machine. So I do that. Now here is the, my golden awesome rule for you, because this is where all the grime just sits. It sits inside here. So like, see, so you can't, I can't see anymore. But what I did is I realized that it was building up in there. So I took just a little tool, just like this. You can even use, cause I did use a Q-tip. Um, and then you poke in these holes. And then this is gonna sound so gross and I can't do this with two hands, but that little hole right there, I took the Q-tip and I literally like stuck it in and kind of went like this. And then I dumped water, like this is the water from the filter right now, but I dumped clean water in there and just kind of let it keep sitting. And I twirled it around in there and I tried to rinse in here a little bit. Um, and then I emptied the filter again because that's where that's all going. So I emptied the filter again. And then I went ahead and did another cycle with this. So I kind of just repeated that and repeated that. And on the fifth go around, this is what it looks like in here. It looks amazing. 
Now, anytime I do either bleach or vinegar, because you really should be able to maintain this with bleach or vinegar cycle. So you're doing your tub cycle and you're using either bleach or vinegar. There's my clock chiming. <laughs> it's using either bleach or vinegar one time a month. Um, but I really am a big fan of these now. So I try to just do this once a month, every two months. And I think it's been, I think it's been three. See, it says a five month supply. That's if you're being consistent. I was not consistent. So, um, and I put this, this is one of the products that I have on my Amazon um, subscription. So I just kind of stick it in there. I have this shipped to me every three months. And um, I was a little overstocked because I, I was forgetting. So that's when you know. <laughs> it's when you start having too many, you have not been keeping up. So now um, I am back to, since I had to use an entire box today, um, yeah, this is what, what it came down to. But let me just show you. I'm not going to cut it open, but you use scissors to open these. You drop it in and you start it up. Now here is the other product I was going to show you because, yeah, you can get your tub basin looking like this, but it will not take the black. So th just imagine all of this gray. That was black. And can I tell you how much I scrubbed? I sprayed it with bleach. I tried anything and everything. I always start with all natural products. I did so much research, but this seriously looks spectacular compared to what it was looking like. So let me show you the product I finally used on this. Okay. I went for the big guns and I think I first started, now I should admit that we discovered mold underneath one of the sinks. And so that's one of the reasons why um, we got these products. And one is stain remover and a blocker. And then this one is a killer with a stain remover. So I did this front product first and I went ahead and sprayed it on there and then let it sit. I followed the directions when I let it sit and then I wiped it down. And it was as though like the heavens opened up and like, you know, the hallelujah chorus started. But yeah, it was, um, I mean, it's night and day because this area up in here was covered. Um, it just, front loaders are so difficult. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show you my other hack. So this is what I used on this one. I don't believe on, I use this under the sink for my um, mildew problem because I wanted to kind of have a little blocker in there. And this is the bleach free part of this. Um, but I'm going to show you my other hack because those of us who have a front loader know this much. You see my laundry here. See, told you dirty laundry. And there I am. Hi. Uh, but when you close the front loader, you're not supposed to close it all the way. You're supposed to be able to just set it to where it touches this magnet. But if you ever do that, you're going to have the most disgusting front loader in the entire world, even like within 24 hours. So what I did is <laughs> don't laugh. I glued this on here. And so this was a laundry lasso, I think it was called. Um, and these little sticky things are supposed to stick on and stay because this was originally attached here. Um, and that did not work because they were always popping off. So what I did is I got a hook and I put the hook in here. I glued it just using the Gorilla Glue. And then I Gorilla Glued this on here and I Gorilla Glued this on here. And everyone in the family knows you put the hook on after you do it. One of my nighttime routines now is before I go to bed, as I'm walking through the house, making sure the doors are locked, you know, whatever windows are closed that need to be closed, and um, lights are out in every room, I part of my routine is to check to make sure that this door is not closed. And everyone's pretty good now. It was, what's hardest is when you have, like when we did have the cleaners coming to the house, we haven't had the cleaners here at the house for like three months now, um, but they would tend to close it all the time. So again, I just had to develop a habit of always checking to make sure it was open. But at night, I'm always checking to make sure that this door is open and kind of just like that. And here's my other tip. When we go on vacation, I leave this completely open, no hook. It is like wide open. And then like, of course, everyone in the house is reminded, do not close the washing machine. Otherwise you come home to just, mm, to that black mold area, like and then mildew build up. Mm, so lovely, especially when you're trying to clean clothes because it's like counterintuitive to want to have clean clothes in a dirty washing machine. So just a suggestion, if you have not checked out my smart tips for laundry hacks, um, make sure you check those out. Find me both on Instagram and YouTube, follow me there, you know, and I do have, it sounds crazy. It's because like you kind of think to yourself really truly, is there that much to know about laundry? But 
Being that we are a large family, for those of you who aren't familiar with me, I am a mom of five kids. So we have a family of seven. And actually at one point, we had another family, large family living with us. So laundry can be a problem. And I get asked about laundry and meal planning. Those are the two things I get asked the most about um, when it comes to just managing my home. And so that's why I wanted to share about it. But I do have a laundry course coming out. I'm going to share these kind of hacks and so many more in my laundry video. So I hope that you will check that out. Please connect with me again here on social media. So I'm a Christy Clover everywhere on social media. But make sure like well, we're truly connecting. <laughs> if you go over to ChristyClover.com forward slash sanity, you'll get a free ebook from me and you'll get all kinds of tips. And that's how you'll know when I have different things rolling out is um, when you connect with me online. So I am really looking forward to sharing more of my dirty laundry with you and my dirty laundry hacks. <laughs> and so I hope we're connecting. Have a great rest of your day. And don't forget to live simply and be joyful. One more tip I forgot to mention, and that is if you are doing a cycle with bleach, like a maintenance cycle with bleach, make sure you also do a rinse cycle um, after the bleach before you're throwing clothes in there. Hypothetically, you're fine. Throw the laundry in. But unless you like buying new clothes all the time, I would just be sure that you rinse it out. And it's not that hard. It's a quick cycle. So just do the rinse cycle, be done, and then keep the laundry going.